Okay, let's take out the Natasha first. And then watch this. So this leech is locked on onto us. That's one charge. Here's our phase shift. Now we're going to chase after him. He's running because he knows he's screwed. Dead. Triple kill. What is going on, guys? We are using what I think is the most toxic, worst robot to face in the game. The Arnav Poe Ravana with the worst skills. We have all modules recharge faster. We have more durability. We have an anti-control mod module so we can't be stopped. A last stand, a cloaking unit, a phase shift. This thing absolutely sucks to face and it takes forever to kill. So let's jump in. We're going to use the Havoc and then the Igniter build as well. We'll try out, but Mark III, let's do this. Okay, so we're jumping in here. Dead City. And not to mention, we have the Persephone drone. So we have that annoying shielding that's going to pop up. Every time we lose whatever amount of damage it is, I forget. What is it, 20,000? This thing, oh my god. I faced Ravana so many times, so I'm like... Why don't I try out this build and see how cancerous it, it really is? Um, alright. Okay, so let's move over here. Ooh, okay. They're pushing this beacon pretty hard. And I think... Oh, our cloaking is activated, so we should have just pushed a little bit harder there. This Favner is still in range. Boom, alright, took him out. So the only time the Ravana is every vul ever vulnerable is when you either have no ability charges or no phase shifts available. That's when you're vulnerable. That's why before you attack, you always kind of want to make sure almost that you have an ability charge. But when I'm playing this, just think about the enemies facing me. How annoyed they must be. What? That is a Natasha. Okay, let's take out the Natasha first, and then watch this. So this leech is locked on onto us. That's one charge. Here's our phase shift. Now we're going to chase after him. He's running because he knows he's screwed. Dead. Triple kill. Easy. That leech knew he didn't have a shot, so he was just running away. Oh, God. And the Havoc work so well with this build because... You know, you, you need to deal damage fast, and the Havoc are kind of explosive, you know, sonic, thun... They're almost shotgun-like weapons, so it works well with how the ability is set up for this robot. Okay, this Falcon triggers the last stand, then go use our ability. Boom, dead. Just based on ability, the Ravana might have the best ability in the game. Because it's just like a phase shift that speeds you up, and you can use it whenever you want. So just in terms of ability, it's definitely one of the best. Okay, these guys are pushing pretty hard at us. And we've lost our cloaking unit, but our anti-control module is still good. Okay, so the shellbot could be the most annoying as well. It's definitely up there. Uh-oh. Okay, see, we're in the middle of four robots, and we don't... That's a bad spot for us. Okay, so we just use every single one of our... We just used all of our stuff, and we got out of there. Okay, here's the shell bot. I think we can break through his shield and kill him. We can kill him. Okay, um... So he has his ability. It's probably about to go off. Boom, alright. We completely avoided his burst. And now he's trying to run. He's trying to run. Okay, let's get out. Boom. And he never had a chance. Frankly, he never had a chance. Okay, now let's use to go let to go on the offensive. His hawk has his phase shift, but Okay, we're gonna let our last stand get triggered right after this. Ooh. Okay. Um Actually no we're not yet. This hawk. Boom, triple kill. Man, this thing is so just playing with this thing, you realize how dumb it is. Okay, our last hand is now triggered, but we're gonna get out of here. Okay, boom. Let's speed up and let's get out of here. 
Ooh, there's an Aojun. That would be a, once he lands, he might be a pretty easy target. He thinks he's saved. He thinks he's safe. Nope. Chase him, chase him, chase him. Oh man, okay, we have to get that kill. Whoa! Boom, another kill. Rampage, and now we can try to run away from that Arthur if we get far enough. Oh, we might die here. Our shielding went off. Uh oh, we might die. We might die. Ah! I don't know how many kills we just got, but that was ridiculous. Like, that was so stupid. Like, I'm the one using the robot, and I can admit that build. Oh, it sucks. You know how people make top five best robots in the game? This might be top. I could make a top five stupidest robots in the game. Ravon and Shellbot are right in the top spots. Okay. Um, okay, we're pushing forward. Speaking of non stupid robots, though, Haichi. Gotta love the Haichi. I, I feel like players only started liking the Haichi after it wasn't overpowered anymore, which I guess makes sense. Like, I used to hate the Spectre when it was overpowered, and now I actually like it. Because it's underpowered, pretty much. Ooh, okay, this is going to be tough. Ugh. I do not think we can win this battle here. Just because the Fenrir, even though it doesn't look like a Bernadette, Fenrir, it's still too much resistance. Okay, we still have four beacons, and they don't look like they're doing anything. Pro tip, if you're on the enemy team and you're down four beacons with four minutes to go and your beacon bar looks like that, you just push, throw everything you got and push forward. I've really hated this Alming build lately. It just, the Alming itself, not a fan. I think it's one of the worst Titans. Boom, kill. Okay, that wraps it up. That was a pretty quick game, but man, that Ravana just absolutely assaulted the other team. Jeez, 2.7 million. That was, we did well over 2 million damage with just that Ravana. Okay, so here we are on Dead City again, but we're running the Ravana, but with Igniter this time. So I'm interested to see how these weapons play out. And also notice, we have 390,000 HP. So on top of all of our stupid defense systems and mechanisms, we have 390,000 HP. Okay, as per usual, the Igniter are obviously more difficult to aim oh and I forgot to mention actually no never mind I already pointed out that we have the ledge pilot that gives us an extra ability charge come on melt melt okay okay there's an Oroshi coming up on the left he just went right past us okay what's this guy Okay, so this is a leech. So he's got eight seconds on us, and we're just gonna have to keep buying time. And this is why the Ravana is so annoying. Okay, here we go. We can do it. Okay, his last stand, so we're gonna hit her phase shift while his last stand expires. Oh man, this guy stole our kill. Nerd. Nerd. Is that another leech he just dropped in? Bro, stop shooting at him. My teammate stole my kill and now he's like shooting at the leech while he's locked onto me. Hades. Boom. Okay, we got inside of his bubble. Cooked. I think I think the Havoc are a lot more powerful than the Igniters. Especially with this build. Just because they don't deal the damage as fast as the Havoc. Okay, our last stand is triggered now. Um... I feel like the flamethrower weapons, you have to kind of hang in there more, so it's better if you have like a super durable or resistant robot. And the Ravana is more of like, you know, a fast pace kind of bot. Was that kill just stolen too? Jeez. Come on. Okay, I'm just looking around. Beacon's pretty even right now. We're a bit down on the beacon bar, but lots of time to go. 
and let's just load up our cooldown on our ability charge. Okay, they're pushing center pretty hard here. Does that guy have mo? I can hear that. This guy is. That's a leech with molots. That's a weird combo. Okay. Hmm. Here's Naroshi. Uh oh, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. Oh man, we're 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 gonna be in trouble here. Mm, I think we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, we still got that kill. I thought we were for sure dead there. Okay, I think we might die now though, because you need enough HP where you can still, you know, kind of bob and weave with your ability. And 70,000 ain't very much. The Havoc are definitely stronger, but these, this is still a pretty annoying build, if you ask me. Even with our ability, yeah, this guy is going to kill us. Ah. Okay, not as good of a run. But still super annoying. Like that first game was ridiculous with that, with the Havoc Ravana. Boom, there we go. Electrocuted. This is a bit of an interesting build. So we have our Scourge and our Calamity. Probably not the best Fenrir build, but it's all right. Fenrir is so good with the Bernadette pilot that you can pretty much run any weapon combo on it, and it'll be pretty decent. Man, that leech is still sitting back there with his mo with his Molot build. Like, come on, buddy. You're probably not doing that much damage. Maybe ditch that and help your team. Or don't help your team. It's better if you don't for me. Uh-oh. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. Retreat. Retreat. Ooh, we're going to die. Jeez. Okay, maybe we should drop in our our Titan. Oh, is this a hawk? Oh my god, of course it's a hawk. The one robot that can pretty much kill us. Jeez, this is why the Alming sucks. The Alming, the Alming is trash. These weapons too on here are not a great choice. Take forever to lock onto him. Is that another hawk? I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh. The Alming is complete garbage. Did you guys see that? While well, we try to heal up my teammate Alming. The Alming... The only defense on the Alming is the stupid healing, which works terribly. And is crap. It has good firepower. And then you have unlimited flying, which pretty much does nothing. Because you're just a giant, giant target. and Slow target in the air that anyone can hit. It's not like an Aujun or a Favner flying where it's impossible to hit. Don't run the Alming. Dalming is just about as good as the Kid Titan. The Nodens, the Sharanga, the Arthur, they're all better. The Minos, all better than the stupid Dalming. Okay, that rant is done. Let's let's win this game. Okay, so I'm in my Demeter here. Looking for someone to heal up. Okay, this guy's gonna push into center, so let's go with him. We can shield up him. Okay, boom, kill. Here's a. <laughs> this Ravana is showing us why he's so annoying. We were just running the Ravana, and now we get it. Just on a pure annoying basis, the Ravana's got to be the worst in the game. The Shellbot's pretty bad too, but at least you can shoot the Shellbot. Whoa. Okay, we have four beacons. I think we're pushing on here. I Trying to protect my teammate. What is that? A Typhon? Whoa, is this a Fury? What? What is this guy running? Buddy, you're in the wrong league. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. Alright guys, so that 
demonstrated the Ravana being the most toxic, cancerous bot in the game to play. It's so annoying and so, I don't know, just I don't, frustrating to play against. If you guys think there's another more annoying robot, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.